Meet Kobe and Jeanette and Lucas. They are strangers to one another, but they share a common story. Each had brain tumors or cerebral vascular conditions that were life-threatening. Neurosurgeons in California operated on each of them successfully, and each of them used a new virtual reality technology from a company called Surgical Theater, powered by Intel. And we're seeing a lot of potentially really transformative opportunities to use VR in, in healthcare. The partnership between Intel and Surgical Theater is currently in a pilot phase with a number of hospitals in New York City. Surgical Theater software creates 360-degree VR models of a patient's brain from numerous CT and MRI scans. Neurosurgeons then hand a VR headset to their patients and together they take a tour of the patient's brain to plan the removal of the tumor or operate on aneurysms and other vascular conditions. If you have a patient that has a brain tumor um, and you think about the complex anatomy of the human brain, the opportunity for a physician to walk through uh, VR uh, uh, created images of CT and MRI images, that gives them the opportunity to really build a comfort level before they walk in the operating room. Neurosurgeon Robert Lewis uses 360 degree virtual reality at Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach, California. He recently demoed the technology to the Health and Life Sciences Group at Intel. The tumor again is in green. You can see the carotid artery draped over the tumor there uh, in red. And the blue structure is the optic nerve, which is what goes to your, with the back of your eye to give you sight. Lewis says Precision VR allows neurosurgeons to look at patients' brains from multiple angles and practice their entry points. The technology is relatively new, but gaining a lot of attention. I'm having patients come from other states saying we want, if I'm going to have an operation done, I want it to be done with the surgical theater, with the virtual reality system. Lewis said Intel chips help process the massive amounts of data these MRI and CT scans demand, and the Intel name is helping bring more attention to the technology. Intel's Kumar Chinaswamy remembers the first time he heard about surgeons using medical VR on a young boy in the hospital. He comes from a Hispanic background. His parents don't speak uh, uh, English very well. And then they are in a hospital room, not able to understand a word of what the doctor is saying. But then they bring this VR technology, they put it on the kid's head, and the doctor shows the kid what is going to happen. The kid becomes animated, is able to explain to his parents what's happening. That's magical. That is when uh, technology transforms lives. Lewis says there have only been a handful of leaps forward in neurosurgery over the last 50 years. And surgical theater is the latest. One of them was the microscope, another one was navigation. These things have made a huge difference in the safety of the procedures. To me, I saw this come and I was immediately knew that this was going to be the next version of that. And for Kobe, Jeanette, and Lucas, a lifesaver. Being able to see an image like that, it really helped us understand what was going on in Kobe's brain. It was easier than seeing a regular MRI image, which is just a flat plate. Just black and white with a blurry spot. It helped to visualize it. You just kind of got a better idea of what we were dealing with. And it made it a lot easier on me to know how it was going to go. I love you. Oh,